Welcome to the continuation of my video on QGIS. In the last video, we started the process of producing a map of Nigeria showing the states and the road network. And uh, we are still continuing with that exercise. In this new video, I'll be taking you through how to change colors. You will recall that when we brought in the map, uh, the data rather, into QGIS, the computer gave it a color, a default color. We may not like that color and we want to change it. So in this video, I'll be taking you through how to change colors or features on your map. So let's start right away. So here is where we stopped the last uh, in the last video. So we'll just continue from here. Uh, first, the color of the states. I'm not too pleased with this color. So let's change it. You remember we have four, look at the layer panel here. We have four items here, but we are working with just two. Nigeria Admin 1, and look at the color there. That is the map of Nigeria itself showing the states. And look at, and then it is a polygon. That's why it is a box like that. And you can see the color of the box. Now look at NGA roads. That one is a line. And look at the color of the line. And that's what you have here also. The two of them are checked. That's why they are displayed. So let's change the color of this Nigeria Admin 1 to something lighter, something more friendly. So we'll select it as I have done. That's highlight it, make sure it is checked, it is selected like this. So you have the blue line on top of it that way. That shows that that field is active. So if I want to do anything now, I'll be working on this field. One mistake that people make sometimes is that they want to work on Nigeria Admin 1, but this is the place they have made active or this. And that's not right. So make sure the place you want to work on is active that's where you have the blue line okay so let's go ahead now now i will need to go to the properties of this future this layer and change the color there there is an item on the properties which is called symbology that is where i will change the color of this layer how do i get to the property window for of this particular layer. I will right click on it and then scroll down all through to the last item there that is properties. So if you click on that, it will open the property window of this feature. Let's close this for a while. Another way of accessing the property window is when you when it is when your mouse is on the layer itself, just double click on it. When you double click, it opens the layer properties dialog box. So here now you can see the color of the state here is the same color here. That's the same color shown here. So we'll select simple fill. Before then, if you look up here under the symbology, you look up here, you have what? You have single symbol there. What that means is that for the entire map, use just one color. Just a single, regard everything as one. So just use one single color for everything. That's why you have single color here. Now, so I like the simple fill. Simple fill here, you can see the properties there. Look at it. Fill color. This is the color. Fill style. Solid stroke color and so on now this is what we want to change this color and the way to change it are two folds you can either double click on it like this or you come to the corner here to this drop down button here and click on it that will open the color palette here if you don't want to do that you can double click on this it will also open so whichever way you can arrive at this. So you can now use color picker and pick any color of your interest, or you use this and pick any 
part of the triangle or you even use this and pick so whichever is convenient for you fine just select any color of your interest so let's assume that we want to change the color to this this particular one here so i've selected it having selected it if i still want to modify the way it looks i can do that on the right hand side there by you know playing around with this dragging this here and there you know until i'm happy with the color so if this is okay what we will then do is this is the whole color we are trying to replace below here and this is the new color we want to use to replace it so you click on this arrow button here to move it there so the color has been added to this place now so all we need to do is to okay that but then nothing has happened yet to our map the old color still remains because even though we have changed it here but we have not applied that change so we need to come down here you see apply button here we click on it so click apply see what has happened the color of the map has changed if we are happy with this color fine if we are not happy with the color we can come back here again come back here you know click on that select another color of interest you see the new color now then apply see how it is so you can you know play around with colors until you get something you are very comfortable with so once you have something you are comfortable with you are good to go so but i will say as much as possible make the color friendly and light instead of being very very dark and thick so let's stay with this color anyway so i apply and i'll click ok so that gives us this so you can see the whole country now and then the road network now that is how to change color there are times you want and then of course we can change the color of the road network let's go there to the roads if you double click on it it comes here it is simple line you click on that this is a color current color let's change it to bright red i want to make it bright red okay yeah so i will again select this to add it to the color swap there then i will say okay then i have to apply it you see now the roads they are now bright red in color I mean, just use, uh, I mean, that way you can change the color of any of the future. Just go to the properties, then open, I mean, click on symbology to open symbology. Symbology is where you will change the color. Don't forget that. So I will apply and I will say, okay. So I have my map now with the roads and the state. Sometimes, sometimes you don't want to show any color on your for your map you just want it to be transparent to have the same background as the paper or as the map canvas so we want to remove the color for the nigeria admin one here we want to remove that color and make the map plain so that only the road network and state divisions will show so let's see it we double click again we come to symbology we select simple field here the color is this we want to remove the color completely so this is not where you will remove it you will come to field style here field style field style here is solid so everywhere is painted in this color solid let's click on this drop down button and you will see no brush there so let's select no brush if you select no brush what you are saying is that this 
map here should not be painted with any color. Don't apply any brush. Don't paint it at all. And then if you say apply, see what you get and say OK. You can see that the background color has disappeared. Now let me deselect the road for, uh, for a while for you to see clearly. Can you see now? You see that there is no more color there because you selected no brush in the symbology. And then this is the road here. So let's remove that, uh, the road temporarily. You see, you can turn it on and off, you know, just by checking and unchecking the, you know, the box there. So let's see, again, there are times whereby you want the country to show but then you want those states to show to show in different colors instead of one single color for everything or instead of leaving everything plain like this so let's see how that is done again you go to the properties by double clicking on it come to symbology now the first thing you do you go to where you have no brush you remove that change it back to solid oh before that let me show you that you can also use any of this. I mean, there are times you want to use, you don't want to use color, you just want to use arch or dots. You see, there are different options to pick from. For example, if we pick this now and we apply this to our map, you can see the color, I mean, the, the map there showing in that color. Now, if I feel that is not bright enough, then I can, you know, increase the width there. And uh, I can change this, for example, to black. You can see now. So you can see how the, how the thing is, is done, you know, diagonal. So there are times you may want to use that. I just feel I should let you know that. And uh, if I don't want the diagonal, for example, I can come here. Maybe I select the dots. Look at it. And then I will say, OK, apply. Look at it now. Everything is dotted. So, I mean, it depends on your creativity and what your sense of judgment, actually, in terms of how you want your map to appear. Now, let's come back to our solid here. Okay, now the next thing we want to do, we want to have each state having different colors, each state different colors. So what we'll do is, instead of single symbol here, we'll click on that, or you click that drop down button here, and select categorize. What that means is we want, we don't want a single symbol, single color for all of them. We want this to be categorized and how is that to be done what is to be used we'll come to value here we'll click on that down arrow button and we'll select the basis the name that's the basis for which we want to you know classify them so once we do that, the next thing we do is we go down and we'll see classify tool there, this button here, classify. We'll click it. See, once we click it, you will see the states are now listed and different colors. You have different colors for them. So we'll now say apply. Because even though we have done this, it is not appearing here yet on the map because we have not applied these changes. So let's apply and you see what we have. So we have this now and uh, we can click OK to see how it is. So this is map of Nigeria showing the different states. Uh, as you can see, the division of the, the, the boundary of the state is very thick. If I don't want it to be as thick as this, I can change the size of the line. Again, we'll go to properties. And we are on symbology. 
So what we want to do there is to, uh, let's say you come here. Let's do this first. Let's come here and say single symbol first. And on that single symbol, click on simple fill. So this is where you have the line here. See, the width is just too big. So let's reduce this to maybe 0 0.2 millimeter. Okay. So let's see, let, let's see how that is. Okay, you can see now the line is uh, it's not as thick as before. Now we, we go back again now to our symbol, we categorize, use name one to name it and classify, and then apply this now. You see now, our map, our map now looks better. See, it's much better now, it looks better. So that is how we change colors of maps. And then, of course, for this, if we put the road on it, see how it is. But then this is not neat enough. Uh, for us to really show the road, we wouldn't have multicolored background for the states this way. Because if you look at Ogun State here, you see, the color of the road and the color used for the state is the same so you the roads are not visible same thing here even here in fct so we'll not use multicolor background for the states if we are to show the roads so but i have shown you that so that you know how it is done in case you want to produce a map assuming we are not showing roads now i want to produce map of nigeria showing different states oh this looks beautiful and we can finish it up with this the beauty of gis is that you know you can always just by checking and unchecking boxes you know you can always make your map what you want it to look like so this way i will stop the video so I, it doesn't get too long uh in the next video we'll continue with this same map we'll see some other features join me then bye